Praise God. We want to thank God for another wonderful day that the Lord has given us. Remember, it's all about Jesus Christ. His presence gives us testimony, victory, and breakthrough. And all good things of God, they come when the Holy Spirit is present. We want now to invite him to start with us this morning as we are starting this prayer. Dear Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Come and take your place in our heart. Take your place in this temple. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you. Congratulations for starting this day again with the presence of the Holy Spirit. I want to take you from the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter number 10. I read from verse number 44. The Bible says, While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit came to all who had the message. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit has been poured out even to the Gentiles. May God bless his word in Jesus Christ's name. The Bible tells us about the presence of the Holy Spirit as Peter was talking, was testifying the goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Lord Jesus Christ and what the Lord has done. He was giving a testimony. The Bible says as he was testifying to his people, the Holy Spirit came. And the Bible says it was poured even to those who were not the Jews. The Gentiles received the power of the Holy Ghost, received the anointing of God. They started walking in the testimony, in the light of testimony, because the Holy Spirit was with them. I want you to understand this morning, it doesn't matter your, your background. It doesn't matter your lifestyle. If you make a decision to turn around and accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior, accept the Lord to take control of your life, this morning, you are going to start with an anointing. The Bible says, he poured out his Holy Spirit, even to those who are Gentiles. They received it. They start speaking in tongues. You too, you can start speaking a new language. You can start seeing the progress in your business. You can start progress in your marriage. You can start seeing progress in your ministry. Yes, if you make a decision this morning to give an ear to God's word, to give a heart to God's plan. Remember, the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 29, verse 11, the Lord said, I'm God who has a good plan for you. The plan to give you hope and future. They give you victory. That is the plan of God. God has got no plan to destroy. God has got no plan to stop your progress. No. The plan of God is to open more doors for your life so that you can see the grace in that family, in that business, in that office. God is in control. I want you to understand, if God remembered the Gentiles, God can remember you too. There's no difference. God has got no favor. The Bible says God, go, God does not favor anybody. A man shall reap whatever he sows. So today, to start with the Lord this morning. So today, to trust him. And he's a trustworthy. You'll see his, his mercy and his favor into your life. You will see that door being opened for you. You see that future being created for you. I know our God can do it again. I know our God can bless again, can heal again, can create opportunities again. The Bible says, Peter, was, as he was talking, the Holy Spirit came in. He came to support what Peter was saying. He came to support what Peter was declaring. God can support what you are saying right now. If you give your life to him, if you walk with him, God will support you. Wherever you go, God will stand with you. Whatever door you are knocking, God will open for you. Because God supports those who have given their life to him. I know your life will never be the same. I know God can do miracles to your life. I know God can connect you with good people today. I pray for you. Wherever you go this morning, may God whom we save continuously connect you with good people. I pray this morning, as you are going out today, may God disconnect you with people that will destroy your life, people that will steal from you, people that will kill your future. 
I disconnect them with you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray this morning, as you are going out this morning today, may God open doors for you. For the Bible says, whosoever shall ask, the door will be open for him. Whosoever shall knock, the door will be open for him. And whoever shall ask, the Bible says, shall receive. I know something is happening to your life. If you believe, please call the number you are seeing on the screen. We'll be more than happy to come back together with you because we believe together. We can stop Satana from killing, stealing, and destroying your life. Refuse to walk alone. Walk with the power of God. Walk with the Holy Spirit. Walk with Christ himself. With him, all things are possible. If you believe, call the number you are seeing on the screen. We'll come back to you. Definitely we'll come back to you. If your number is busy, try another one. Until somebody get connected with you and receive your testimony. Thank you for watching. Kumbu Kirani. Zabuino. Zigadali. Zihubera. Surely, the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. If you're watching this program for the first time, please press a button there, subscribe. Subscribe so that next time we have a similar program, YouTube will definitely notify you so you don't miss any of the program we have. May God bless you. Merry Christmas and prosperous New Year. Bye-bye.